Well, when we talk about unhurried living, sometimes people think we're talking about make your to-do list shorter or take, you know, half the stuff off your calendar. And we're really not talking about that. We're really talking about a state of soul. Unhurried living is a place where we live at the pace of Jesus. Jesus lives unhurried. That's what we're trying to talk about. He's unhurried enough to enjoy God, no matter how full his life gets. Uh, he is relaxed enough, he's unhurried enough to walk with the people, to stop for the people that cross his path. He doesn't run past people. He is unhurried enough to see temptation coming when he's in the wilderness, for example, and say a very simple no to those things. And I think there's a genius in that that we're invited to follow. So when I think of an unhurried life, I'm thinking of a life lived at the pace of grace, a life lived at the pace of Jesus. But I think the place that it's hardest to be unhurried is in our work life, in those places where we have influence, where we have responsibility. And so when I began to interact with readers, I realized that writing a second book where I touched the theme of leadership would help those who saw the challenge of living this pace in their work life. But now when I talk about leadership, I'm not talking just about you know CEOs or senior pastors or people with some broad scope of organizational responsibility. I'm talking about influence. I'm talking about lifestyle leadership more than necessarily organizational leadership. And so a father, a mother, uh, somebody who is a fellow worker, a neighbor, all of these relationships are places of influence. They're places where I can, as a person in the kingdom, be of influence for good. Uh, I can be a blessing. I can be a, a help. I can model something real and good and vital for people. And so the way I wrote the book really isn't designed necessarily to help somebody lead an organization better. But what we do comes from somewhere. What we do comes from who we are. Two people can do the exact same thing and the fruit of it can be completely different because of who they are doing it. So am I a, a gracious, humble, peaceful, uh, gentle person? Am I a harsh, impatient, anxious, angry person? Well, those two people doing the exact same thing will have very different results. So an unhurried leader is about who we're becoming and who we are when we relate to people and when we do what we do. It's that journey of transformation that we're invited into. Who we're becoming makes all the difference in the world.